I have just bought the cheapest S1000 RR in the world. And now we're going to attempt to build this bike in four short weeks. But there's one small problem. It's a complete wreck. The BMW was the first track bike I ever bought, rebuilt and sold and regretted every day since for selling that awesome weapon. So when the opportunity came up to get another one and at a fraction of the price, I couldn't pass that up. A 2022 BMW S1000 RR with M package carbon upgrades. And what a beauty she is. Even in the super wrecked form, I can just see the potential that this bike is gonna look amazing in a few short weeks. Okay, so we have got some grand plans for this bike. As you probably know, it's a 2022 model, so like it's only a year old. It's only done low Ks from what I know. Every time I do one of these builds, a little part of me feels very sorry for the previous owner. Like they have probably saved up so much money to be able to afford a bike like this. Like what do these go for? 30, $35,000? and now look at it. And this was once someone's dream, and now it's just another one of my projects. Now granted, I'll do it justice, and it'll look shit hot awesome when it's finished. But a little bit of my heart goes out to those people at the same time. So, anyway, let's get into it, shall we? The battery's not even connected anymore. Okay, so first test electrical. We got the new battery connected. We've disconnected that freaking annoying alarm. So that's gonna come out. It was just this plug here, so super easy. So now let's see if our dash has any power when we turn the key on. Oh, <laughs> we've got power. Perfect. Now I can hear something buzzing. I don't know if that's good. got oh no our dash is completely ruined have it checked by a specialist workshop that's a really good point we should do that now we're going to start stripping it down and every piece that I take off that's salvageable I'm going to give you the value as to what I'm going to sell it for at the end of it you add it all up it's a lot of money
Okay, so it's about 9.30 at night, I'm hot, sweating, um, we've got about half the bike stripped down and it's coming apart really, really easily. I'm hesitant to do too much more because I want to keep it in a state where we can actually try and start the bike, maybe in this episode, maybe in the next one. Um, and let's take a look now at everything I've taken off and start putting some prices against everything that we can sell so far. Okay, so I know it might look like a complete motley crew of parts, um, but the tank we're actually keeping because if you look at just here um, and here, this is where the actual uh, tank mounts are still attached. So we need to find a welder who can weld these tank mounts back onto the side of the tank. Uh, so we're keeping the tank, tank staying. Um, we've got a rear, uh, whatever that's called, license plate holder. So that's actually okay. Indicator's broken on that side, but we can sell that. So that'll probably go for around about $50. The triple, lower triple is completely kaput. That's gone. That is the worst triple I've ever seen. Look at the angle of that top head, of that stem. Okay, both of these forks, I think they're both bent, but the internals of these forks, including the fork motor, everything else, is probably still worth around about $700, uh, maybe for the two, maybe $750 for the two, um, even in a bent state like that. Um, the internals alone, $250, $300. The wheel is not worth anything. It is absolutely destroyed. Um, however, I've still got to take the rotors off and check if the rotors are flat. I very much doubt it. Um, we've got the top tank guard. That's worth around about $70 or $80. We've got the right side uh, fairing, lower fairing. That's actually worth around about $100. We've got the alarm, probably not worth anything, but we'll put that on 50 bucks on, um, on eBay anyway. We've got the back fairing. It's got a few scratches, but it's in one piece. So those three pieces make up the back fairing. That's probably worth about $250. Um, we've got the front guard, carbon guard. It's not worth anything. It's just, it's beyond repair. We've got the left side headlight that's worth about $250 just by itself, attached with the horn. Um, we're actually going to keep that piece there, that black piece there, because that goes around the radiator. We've got the mirrors. So these mirrors are probably worth about somewhere between $350 and $500 for that set of working mirrors. And we've got the two carbon, M carbon inlays. They are scratched, uh, but they're probably still worth $100 as is both of the side panels. They're probably $200 for those. Probably another two or $300 for those uh, extra uh, tank side panels and the left side panel. Uh, and then that's just the parts that we've, that's just the parts that we've taken off it so far. So we've still got a lot to go. We've still got the exhaust has got to come off. Um, so that exhaust will be probably somewhere in the vicinity of about a thousand dollars, I'm going to guess. We've got the two damaged radiators. So the oil radiator, probably not worth much, but maybe a hundred dollars. And the actual radiator itself, which has had a decent whack in it, again, might be worth a tiny little bit. So we'll, we'll say a couple hundred dollars for that. We've got the EVAP, that'll be worth a bit, uh, maybe another fifty, a hundred dollars. Um, we've got the left side clip-on, which I actually think is completely straight. Um, so that's worth around about probably $280 for that left side clip-on just by itself. The right side clip-on, I think it's bent, but I could be wrong. I mean, you know what? It actually looks straight. So we're only talking, we're not talking about this little bit here that's attached or that little bit there, they're obviously broken. But the clip-ons on these are just this half U round shape and they clip straight on at the same height as the, uh, the top triple. So I'm gonna guess once we put the new clip-ons on that these two clip-ons together are probably $500 between the two, but we'll check and make sure they're straight first. We've also got the side stand. So side stand, probably another $150. We've got the rear sets, they're around about $600, $650 for both rear sets combined. And then we've got the, uh, the passenger pillion pegs, which are fine on both sides. They're about another $350, $400 for both. We've got the ABS unit. That'll go for probably $150. And what else am I missing? Um, well, there isn't really much else to be honest on this bike. It's all ruined. And you're probably gonna think I'm mad, but we're actually gonna try and start the bike. Um, so I've just taken the top off that I've taken the, uh, the ECU off the top, which exposes uh, the actual filter. So I should be able to pull the filter out 
Once I've got the filter out, we're going to spray a bunch of this, start your bastard, instant engine starter, directly in through the inlet. And then hopefully, when we turn it over at the same time, we should get a spark and we should get the engine running for just a couple of seconds. It won't last long and I need to be pretty prepared to turn this off in a hurry. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Look at that. It looks brand new, like 1500 kilometers. And it's, I've got a new one, but to be honest, I probably don't even need it. Yes! We've got a running engine! Oh. How good's that? I mean, it doesn't sound good, but... Yes! That is awesome news. That means that we haven't bought a complete lemon. So, here we go. Ignition off. No more playing with the trying to start the bike. That is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So uh, onwards and upwards now. So I guess that's a really good place to stop today's video. Uh, I couldn't be more happy. This bike is going to be insane. If you've got any suggestions about design, drop a comment below. Uh, I'm keen to hear all your thoughts. I've got some ideas as well. Uh, on the next episode, when we're gonna fly through this build, by the way, the next episode, uh, we've got radiators, front forks, we've got a new triple coming, we've got a new exhaust. A lot of stuff is gonna get jammed into these episodes. Sorry if I fly through them too quickly. You know the drill, if you like my gear, if you like my videos, not my gear, like, subscribe, and uh, give me a thumbs up. Until the next one, peace out.